Hi, I'm back. Um, my name is Charlie. My name is not back. I am back teaching you. And um, today, I would like to teach you about something that may not be as entertaining as that little guitar lick there, but certainly is important so that one day you can play something like this. Although that lick is not that complicated, but someday you can play very extravagant solos very quickly. Okay? So, to start with, do we know how, when we play the piano, for example, when we go up the keys, we at some point have to change over, meaning that our thumb needs to come when we go bum, 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 bum. We can't just move our pinky up and up. We have to change so our thumb is now the lowest again. So we go, we usually just change our thumb over like that um, so that we can move, our hands can move properly, efficiently, and, and, and well. Um, well, the guitar has the exact same phenomena. Uh, when we go up and down the fretboard, we can't just go like this, for example. I'm not just going to move my pinky up and say, okay, I got to the pinky. I think I'm done uh, with the other three fingers, or the other four fingers. The thumb. Um, we don't do that. Uh, instead, what we do, when we go up, let's just say we're going to go up in a chromatic motion, one semitone at a time. Semitones are just one difference in fret, one difference in note. So, G sharp, A, I'm gonna say all sharps. G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Okay, we get to that B, right? We're on the fourth fret of the E low E string. We get to that B. Well, what are we gonna do, okay? If we're gonna go up in that motion there? Well, we're now gonna slide our, our pointer finger up, okay? So this drill, this practice drill, is all about that motion of changeover, okay? It can, it's also about changeover from strings, so like, but that will be secondary, okay? So, I want you to start, I want you to do this really slowly with a metronome, okay? So, ch, 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 ch. Okay, get there. Can you get there? Can you get there fast with the metronome? Ch, ch, ch. Are you able to do that? If you're not, slow it down and keep practicing, okay? So, once you get there, okay? We're gonna go in groups of four. We have four fingers here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? And when we get up to a certain point, okay? Uh, when we get up to a certain point, you can pick, go to the next string. So for example, I might do this. And then, so get up, get up all the way to the high, to the high string. You have some freedom in how you do this, but uh, we're going a semitone apart. So if we have a B here, right, um, then the next note on the next string is going to be a C here. So you got to know your fretboard notes, okay? So when we go like this, and we want to transfer strings, you're going to move to the C right there, okay? So, the point is just practicing the motion from moving up, the, practicing that step motion, stepping over the pinky, uh, stepping over, you know, you're, you're you're pulling your fingers, dominating the pinky, and stepping over it. Ah, step over, right? And you can do it earlier if you want to. Like, there's no exact, there's no exact method of playing guitar, necessarily, that's the best at everything, okay? For example, you, you can step over when you reach the middle finger if you want. If you want to do that, or the ring finger, if you wanted to, it's up to you. But essentially, we're just practicing that motion, okay? So with a metronome, practice going up and down the fretboard in semitones, just stepping over, okay? And go as slow as you want to start. Okay, we get to the like the top as uh, the, like the top of the fretboard, and now we're gonna de now we're gonna. Now we're going to descend in semitone. So we're going to go down and we're going to do the stepwise motion the opposite way. So we're going to bring that pinky over the, the pointer finger. See, I'm not doing it right. See, I'm not perfect, I have to keep working on this, but still feel like I can show you the drill. So essentially, we go, 
Just with a metronome, okay? So eventually you get like. So we're, we're just gonna go up and down. Okay? Alright. And to make it a little bit more advanced, try to know where you are when you're going. Try to know what note you're playing. So, so I, I, know, I know where I am in terms of notes, okay? We want to get really familiar with this fretboard. We want to know it down, so then if I just go to a random note, I know this is an A, this is an A right here, 14th fret on the G string. Okay, I, I should know that, all right? So, so, remember what I said earlier, we're going in groups of four, so, two, two three, four. You might notice that the sound is very obvious when you change over, it's like one, two, three. We're always putting the most emphasis on that on that uh, that that pointer finger note, bum, bum, and we don't when 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 we change over we don't always want the emphasis to be on the the first note. We sometimes want it to be quieter. Like we sometimes want the second note to be em like uh, how I just did the second note to be emphasized, right? So now I want you to try, and now I want you to try to. Think about when you play, think about it in different time signatures other than 4-4. Four, four. So instead of this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Break it into, th into threes instead. So the threes instead, but still with four fingers, would look like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So. So we're putting the most emphasis every three notes. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it becomes complicated when you try saying it out loud. So I'm just gonna do, try to notice for the emphasis, okay? It becomes very challenging. And now try doing the step overs. I mean, try, try now changing strings too and it becomes challenging. Okay, do it in fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, because we don't want to, we don't want to be four, four centric here. We don't want to, and we don't want to make it obvious when we're changing strings. The sound shouldn't be, uh, we, sorry, not changing strings. We don't want to make it obvious when we're, when we're, when we're leaping over, right? That it, we're leaping. Oh, we're leaping over. Right, we don't want to get in that place. We want it to be clean sounding. Right? We want it to sound good and clean. So, th this drill is supposed to just speed up your movement on the fretboard. Not necessarily your picking.